10 products that I have never ever talked about on my channel, but I've had them in my stash forever. We're going to find out why I've never spoken about them and we're going to go over them and I'm going to tell you a little bit about each one right now. Hi friends, today's video should be a kind of fun because I was looking through my stash, kind of shopping my stash for a video that I was doing and I thought, a bunch of these products I'm pulling out, I'm going, you know, why do I not talk about certain products on my channel that are here? They're my makeup, they're things that I love sometimes, things that maybe I'm trying to do, and for one reason or another, I just haven't talked about them. So I wanted to show you those, but I wanted to make sure I told you why I haven't talked about them too. Some of them are just being overlooked. So let's get into it. Let's start with one that I actually really love this product. This is the Molten Glow Bo Blo 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 Body Glow from Makeup Revolution. This one was sent to me and I do like this a lot. But this product is one that I guess I feel like not all of you would love. Not all of you want to beam and glow on your shoulders or wherever. Look at it. It's just it's so pretty, but not necessarily everybody wants that kind of a glow. And I don't know why I haven't spoken about it before. It does leave a fairly natural glow on your skin, but it's for the body. So maybe that's why I haven't talked about it because I mainly focus on the face. So I haven't really talked about it before, but look how pretty that glow is. You could put a little bit right here on your decollete too, just right there on your, maybe your collarbone to bring a little bit of light there. It's just real pretty. I like it a lot and I've been using it a lot. I just have never talked about it. So I pulled it out and I'm like, that probably should go in that video. <laughs> so it's pretty. It. I will warn you that um, it does feel a little bit, um, a little bit, not really greasy. I shouldn't say that. It's kind of slippery. So I do feel like it probably has some dimethicone in it. It does set down okay and it doesn't really show up texture. It's just that natural pretty glow. So I'm going to tilt my camera down so you can see there's the glow on the shoulders, and then there's the glow right there on the decollete. Kind of pretty. I think it's, I like it. I like it a lot. I do definitely feel like it's something that I probably should have talked about more. All right, next product is one from Charlotte Tilbury. Actually, there's several here from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is one that I, it's okay. It's a, they're her highlighter or her glow palette. Um, Glowgasm face palette. This is Lightgasm. And so you have a couple of, well, three highlighters and then you have like a bronzing color. It's all right. It's, I don't know. I'm not somebody that really feels like this is a huge have to go get it. And I'll, I'll tell you why, because these three colors right here, even though they're pretty and I like them, I just don't feel like for the price that this was worth it. So I kept this to try and dupe and I'm still after a dupe, still looking around. Charlotte Tilbury, I feel like is a very overhyped brand, her and Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona. Denona. I do feel like they're very overhyped. You know, I'm always looking for a bargain. So when I do find a dupe for this, that's going to definitely be one that I show. This is another Makeup Revolution product. I did purchase this one myself. This is the Ultimate Nudes Light Palette. Then they're trying to dupe the uh, Huda Beauty. And I do like this. I've been one of those people that really swore off of Makeup Revolution's eyeshadow formula because it just got to where it wasn't very good. But this one, it kind of redeems itself with. I kind of like this one. I like the peach colors in here. They're very pretty. The mattes are pretty. And then I'm putting that on top of the Charlotte Tilbury. That doesn't help you, does it? And then the, the metallics are pretty too. What I do like about this a lot is it's subtle. And I have been in the spring, the summer, I really lightened up my makeup this year. And I loved that this was coral mauve theme. So I can wear corals pretty easily. And I liked the mauves in here as well. I did like this one a lot. Um, I don't know why I haven't shown it other than you guys saw how many palettes I have in my palette declutter. And I just have too many to get around to. And this one was stuck in my purse. So I did want to show it though. It's, I do like it. It's one of those ones that 
I think is really good. Okay, number four. Number four is this spray from Milani. This is the Supercharged uh, Revitalizing Face Mist, Facial Mist. This one I use um, like to refresh my face when I'm not wearing makeup through the day. I'll use it to um, kind of go over my makeup as well. It's, I've got a fan on, so this is like spraying in my face. It's not a problem that it's spraying my face. It's actually quite light. If you do feel like your face gets super dry during the day. You might try a face, facial mist like this. This one I believe has vitamin C in it, which is really nice ingredient in there. And I feel like it kind of gives me a little bit of extra moisture. I feel like that fresh burst in your face really kind of does help wake you up for the day. And um, I don't know if it has a fragrance. Let me spray a little bit in my hand and find out. It does have a citrusy fragrance now that I sprayed it really concentrated. But when I sprayed it out like that, I couldn't smell that, just so you know it. But super refreshing during the day. And again, don't know why I haven't talked about it before on my channel. And then another product from Milani that I don't talk about, don't know why. But they came out with these not very long ago. And I need my glasses so I can tell you exactly what it's called. It is called the Gilded Shadow Stick. And the one that I have does not have a name on it. I'll make sure that I list it for you. This color stays on so well. If you have eyelids that you know you your eyeshadow really wears off of, this is going to be on all day once it sets down. And I love that about it. You can see how light reflecting it is right there. And I really didn't couldn't make a mistake with this, meaning I kind of put it on maybe a little bit heavy handed. I can even put it on right now and just put it right here in the corner of my eyes a little bit more. I've got so much in the corner of my eyes today, but it won't feel cakey and it's going to dry down and it's going to be a really nice shadow. I really hope that they decide to do some of these in matte colors and whatnot because I think that the formula is really good of them. It's super long wearing and I would love to see some in a brown or a khaki or those colors that you can just brush across or or draw on and then you know blend out with your finger one and done type thing the other thing is you do have about 15 to 30 seconds to work with it before it sets down so it's just really nice product really like that from milani the next one i keep again for dupable purposes and that is the two foundations from charlotte tilbury uh the airbrushed and the magic I'm not crazy about either one of these, but these are so many people holy, people's holy grail that I hang on to them. Now, I did get them in too fair of a color for me, but I still feel like both of these foundations show up a little bit too cakey on my mature skin. I hold on to them because I spent so much money on them. I probably will end up decluttering them fairly soon, but I did spend a lot of money on them. So I keep trying to make them work. I put them in with some other foundations and you trying to use them up a little bit, but I honestly do not see what the hype is about either of these. I feel like they are full coverage, both of them. Um, but yeah, I just don't think that these are foundations that anybody needs to run out and spend that super high price on because I just didn't feel like they performed the way that everybody was hyping them up to be. Another one that I love is from Wonder 2 Cosmetics. Wonder 2 came out with the Wonder Brow. Do you remember that about 10, 12 years ago? They actually came out with that brow product that would stay on for 24 or longer hours. I love their products. They do send me PR. However, I bought this one. They send me PR now, but these I bought because I loved one that they sent me in black and I used it all the way up. This one I think is in a navy color. These eyeliners are so budge proof. They are amazing. You can put this in your waterline and have it there for several hours, which I normally can't on any of my eyeliners have more than about two to three hours. These stay on longer than that. But boy, if you want to put this on um, the rest of your eyes, look at that, <laughs> how fast that dried down. I can't even really even, but you know, smudge that out. So work with it quickly. But if you do want to smudge it, put it on and then go ahead and smudge it right away. And it will smudge out and they're beautiful. And you're going to have those there all day long. I love these. Um, again, I'm always trying to find a dupe 
for things that are a little bit more expensive but sometimes when you find a product you really love you just pay the price for it because you know that it performs better than anything else and i do love this i have no idea why i haven't shown this on my channel i need to i need to show these more i think i have a brown one somewhere as well they're just really good and i really love them a lot so kvd beauty I got this. I don't remember actually where I got this. I think it was in a boxy charm. Maybe it wasn't in boxy charm. I don't remember. I don't do boxy charm anymore, so I don't know how long I've had this, but I've had it for a long time. This is their Everlasting Blush, and it is in Rosebud. First of all, I love their packaging. This is such pretty packaging. And I love this blush because it is the most beautiful flush of rose but it's very very muted and i'm going to put this on my other hand so you can see it super soft and buttery when i put my finger in there super saturated i think their blushes are so good this is a blush formula that i would recommend all day long just look how saturated that is but it will sheer out so you, you know you don't have to have that much on but it's so beautiful and it hugs the cheeks all day long melts into your other makeup you have it on it's so pretty i'm gonna just try that on just a teeny tiny bit for you um this is just a big fan brush that i have and look how pretty that was crazy because I just put too much blush on, but that's okay. I wanted you to see the color of it. It's just so beautiful. I will have to buff this side out. So pretty. That blush is just a gorgeous color of blush. And you know, a really good high-end blush that lasts a long time in the pan. I don't mind, you know, picking those up. And the other thing is, again, I'm always trying to dupe for you guys. So we have two more products to go. The first one I want to show you is the Bobbi Brown Highlighter in Pink Glow. Have any of you just happened to find this? I think I found this at Marshall's. But wow this is so stinking pretty this is a beautiful highlighter super glowy super bright definitely i put this on under my blush to kind of diffuse it but if you like highlighter um and you don't want any texture and you've been looking for one that you just think is wow 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 this is a wow 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 i just i love this highlighter i think it's one of those ones that you know they did in the beginning of highlighters and you know bobby brown just came was really innovative and she came right out with something like this this is beautiful and it's really kind of a stiff formula so you're not going to get too much on if you are a woman that has more mature skin and you don't want to show a lot of texture and you just really want to keep your highlighter in a very small area this is a really good one because you can be really strategic blend it out really well or you can go really high beam if you want to gorgeous formula gorgeous packaging i love that one and sometimes high-end makeup is worth it all right my last product we're going back to the drugstore because you know i love drugstore now i haven't shown this because right after i got this i stopped using concealers altogether but what i've been doing is i've actually been using this born to glow concealer all over on quick days you know like if i'm in the car and i don't have a foundation this one is thin enough this concealer is thin enough that it acts like a foundation now i showed you a video where you can do that as well where you just use all over your face a concealer instead of a foundation you get a little bit more coverage and you get it a little bit quicker everything you know works a little bit quicker but I have been using this all the time for my all over, all over foundation and underneath my eyes, and I like it very much. It has that same applicator as the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and I really like, I'm just running out of hands here, I love how light this is, and, and yet it covers so well with that little bit of glow, little tiny bit of that glow. Um, light. I should say it's light. I don't like anything glowy underneath my eyes because what's going to happen then is you're going to see all the, that texture and the, my fine lines. But this one, it's already setting down. It just sets down just to a beautiful finish, very soft, um, and it just gives a little bit of light. So if you are somebody that still likes your concealer, but you can't find a concealer you like, try this one. Or if you're somebody that has just been looking for something that's smaller, you can throw in your purse on the go and have it as a foundation slash concealer. This one is great too. I had lipstick on my teeth. 
and I probably had lipstick on my teeth for most of this stupid video. So I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to stop because that was embarrassing, but I got it off. So if there are products in your stash that you don't find that are talked about very much on YouTube, but you love them, or maybe they're very high-end products, but you feel like they're a really good value, maybe they're a drugstore and they're never talked about, whatever, tell me in the comment section, sound off down below, because I'd love to know about those products. Let me know what you think about this video today because I have a whole bin full of more products that came out of my stash that I just don't talk about on my channel for one reason or another. So if this video was very interesting to you, let me know that in the comment section too. I love you very much and I appreciate all your support. Please take care of yourselves and I hopefully will catch you in my very next video. Goodbye, my friends.